Welcome to the Step One of You Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about sorbitol, metabolism, and lactase deficiency. Sorbitol is used as another way of metabolizing glucose. Instead of phosphorylating glucose into glucose 6-phosphate, it is reduced by aldolase, reductase, and NADPH to sorbitol. The lens of the eye has mostly just this enzyme, and the retina, kidneys, and Schwann cells have only this enzyme. Lurks. However, in the liver, ovaries, and seminal vesicles, the pathway continues by being oxidized by sorbitol dehydrogenase and NAD into fructose where it can enter glycolysis. These cells lose sorbitol. Tissues who lack the sorbitol dehydrogenase will accumulate sorbitol, increasing the osmotic pressure, causing damage resulting in cataracts, retinopathy, and peripheral neuropathy. Chronic hyperglycemia in patients with diabetes may experience this. Lactase is an intestinal brush border enzyme that digests lactose in the milk into glucose and galactose. However, primary lactose intolerance occurs in some population members who lose this ability, commonly Asians, Africans, and Native Americans after childhood. Secondary lactose intolerance occurs because of gastroenteritis from rotavirus or autoimmune diseases. Congenital lactose intolerance is not common, but it does happen because of a gene defect. In individuals with lactose intolerance, the lactose remains in the GI tract without being broken down. Lactose increases the osmotic pressure, sucking the water into the GI tract. This results in diarrhea, bloating, cramps because the body becomes dehydrated, and flatulence. Since your brush border enzymes aren't digesting the lactose, Other microbes in your GI tract do. As they do, they create hydrogen gas and lower the pH. Thus, the stool will present with a lower pH, and a lactose hydrogen breath test will reveal elevated levels of hydrogen gas. That's all for this lesson step one review. We'll see you in the next video.